Hello, I'm Dr. Heidi Horsley, Executive Director for the Open to Hope Foundation, and I'm here today talking with Demita Sunwolf Laru, and she is talking to us about grief and loss from a Native American perspective. And I want to know, Demita, how did you get into this field? Well, I'm a Cherokee from Oklahoma. My grandmother was a medicine woman. So grief and loss has been a part of our history, 522 years since Columbus came, and the genocide that has happened with our people. Lots of tribes have actually been extinct because of what has happened over the past historical time. So there's been a lot of grief and loss. Absolutely. So each person that I see that's native, whenever they come in, they bring their history with them. So historical trauma and historical loss are huge things that people really have a challenge addressing, looking at, or even honoring that they exist. So tell me, in the Native American culture, how is grief and loss dealt with? It really depends on the tribe. There's over 560 tribes here in the United States, so every tribe handles it differently. So, for an example, with the Cherokee and the Choctaw, the people believe that in order to help the person that has died move on, they need to avenge their death. So that's not something that can happen in today's culture. So then ceremonies and traditions that are very unique to that tribe are done to help people in the tribe deal with the losses of those people that they've lost because the losses have been so great. It's not just our people that we lost. We've lost land. We've lost the ability to have education. And many people are very, very poor. So it's really important to honor all the types of losses. And in the Cherokee um, tribes, are there are there ritual that you've seen that have been done around grief and loss? There are a variety of rituals, but typically what is what, how they're handled is that it is something that's very private to the tribe. So the tribes keep those all to themselves, and we don't typically share the ceremony specifics with others just because it's, some, it's a way of honoring who we are as Native people. And how, how would people find hope again? If, if, if you were Cherokee and grew up Cherokee in a Cherokee tribe, how, what would you do to go about finding hope again? Really, I think because we're an interdependent culture, it's grabbing on to our culture that helps build that resiliency and not letting those pieces of us die and fly away, but holding on to it and coming back to it for those who have went away from it. I grew up as an urban native, so I did not grow up on a reservation. So it's a very different experience in an urban situation. So being able to have community is extremely important to provide the resilience for the ones of us who are a little older, as well as our children today, to provide that stability and that tradition that we want to make sure that they have. Demita, I think that is so important. I think that, you know, grieving as a collective and as a whole and saying, look, we're going to get through this together. We're here to support each other. We're going to do it one moment at a time. It's like the saying goes, the journey of a thousand miles is started with a single step. So I really, really love what you're doing. And I love so much about the Native American culture. And I think we can learn so much in the United States from the Native American culture. Thank you again for what you're doing. And this is Dr. Heidi Horsley for the Open to Hope Foundation.